a cricket. An island community of brave and powerful kings is one of the ancient kingdoms of pre-colonial Nigeria. Once described by a colonial officer as progressive, Okrika people had long before the advent of the Europeans established a strong and dynamic city-state in the eastern part of the Niger Delta. Okrika people are gifted and have been known to display exceptional achievements in their art and craft, their music and dance and other forms of their heritage. The kingdom consists of nine main towns, Krike, Ogu, Ogoloma, Bolo, Ibaka, Ogbobo, Abloma, Isaka and Ele. It has some 150 communities and more than that number of fishing settlements scattered all over the eastern Niger Delta. Today, Okrika-speaking people are situated in three local government areas of River State, namely Okrika, Okubolo and Port Harcourt. The Nkoro people in Opobo Nkoro local government area are also reported in history to have Okrika ancestry. Christianity, the faith of our salvation, was planted in Okrika by an indigen, unlike many cities in Nigeria where the religion was introduced by foreign missionaries. This was Chief Atorudibo Fubarada of Bolomeberi. He was said to be an Urualabo as a chief priest of Odoberi, a local deity believed to be the god of good fortune. Atorudibo was head and chief of Okomakiri House since 1842. His position as chief priest of this deity gave him a special honor. He was also a businessman who established trade links with Bonnie where he had many friends. Chief Squeeze Cornelius Banigo was one of his Christian friends. Atorudibo renounced his fetish beliefs and practices in this man's house and became a believer and follower of Christ. He brought Christianity to Akrika in 1878 during the reign of His Majesty King Ibanichuka Ado VI, Amainabo of Akrika, 1876-1896. King Ibanichuka was a core traditionalist, but he operated a policy of religious tolerance that favored the establishment and propagation of Christianity in Akrika. Among the chiefs of the realm who stoutly stood by Chief Atorudibo, two are preeminent. They are Chief Inyanaboy Tamuno George, the principal defender of the religion, and Chief Elalamoku Ije Ogan, the first iconoclast in Okrika Island after Torudibo. In ancient times, Okrika people feared using corrugated iron sheets as roof over their houses. This was to avert the wrath of Fenibesu, a local deity believed to be the god of thunder. But with Christianity well written and crafted in his marrow, Chief Ogan shrugged off such superstitions and built the first house with corrugated iron sheets in Okrika. This was the house in which the first organized Christian religious worship started in Okrika. It was also in Chief Ogan's house that Bishop Samuel Ajayi Crowther signed an agreement with the king and chiefs formally establishing Christianity in Okrika in 1881. Since then, Christianity, which was planted like a mustard seed, has grown into an oak tree, watered and nurtured by the faith, resilience and tenacity of succeeding generations. The golden edifice, St. Peter's Cathedral, Okrika, was masterminded by Chief Daniel Ojukalio. He was supported by Chiefs Samson Igobo Adoki, Fibresima, Abam, Somiari, Ebanibo, David Olumwa Koko, Ikriko Daka, Joseph Igwe Dikibo, Apibo Oba, and Sam Ukwije Ogan, among others. The church in Okrika began as a mission of the Niger Delta Pastorate. Today, it is a full fledged diocese inaugurated in 2003. Oh, they must
The diocese has five archdeaconries, three deaneries, and more than 30 parishes and mission churches, with about 50 ordained priests, including the bishop. This is an eloquent testimony of the steady growth and development of the diocese and spread of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Right Reverend Tuboko Semier Abere, JP, is the first bishop of the diocese. One cannot uh, explain, describe, or even quantify it. It is a spiritual work. And I can tell you the Greek man generally is religious. In as much as it's religious, you preach the word of God to him, you, pre you preach the word of God to him, he listens. Sometimes we have the problem of people, you know, obeying, but that is not bad. As much as possible, we have inroads to preach the word of God. Whatever hindrances, the Lord removes them uh, on our way. And... Uh, that the, the gospel has brought about peace. The gospel has brought about the unity of uh, the Krika community. started in 1896, but was christened St. Agnes Church by the Reverend Max A. Cole, vicar of St. Peter's Okrika in 1912. In 1971, construction work began on the present church building in fulfillment of a vow made to God by the community that if saved for the Nigerian Civil War, 1967 to 1970, they would build a new temple for generations to worship the first. The project was pioneered by Headmaster E.A.U. Ogan. Bishop Iyibo Fubara laid the foundation stone in 1971 and also dedicated the church in 1980. In 1984, Bishop Samuel Elewon upgraded St. Agnes Church as a parish of the Niger Delta Diocese. It became a deanery 22 years later. The deanery was inaugurated by Bishop Abere in May 2006. St. Agnes of Ganama Deanery has hosted many diocesan events, including conferences, diaconate, and priestly ordinations, and the second session of the Third Synod in May 2011. As a man that of God, do your prophetic and priestly work. The church in Oganama has continued to grow physically and spiritually. Evidence is the planting of another church, St. Mark's Anglican Church, on the mainland of this community. The Venerable Major Simeon Iniworikabo is the rector of Oganama Deanery. Since my inception, I see this church has created a lot of impacts on the citizenry. Great impacts. I met a program, somebody died and I saw that this church was able to bring the community together. 
as if the thing happened to in fact there's no discrimination they don't care whether you are from a non-anglican or whatever they did thing as a team and that's a result of what this church has done saint agnes church organama is marching in the footsteps of the founding fathers and will continue to record milestones that will stand the test of time is to tell them to seek God all the days of their life because he is our source of help. Another thing is people should seek peace because our God is a God of peace. People should be united because it is the uh, twin um, virtues of peace and unity that can bring about development. Oh.